One year ago today, Baldwin County Deputy Bill Smith died, saving the life of a swimmer in the Gulf off of Fort Morgan. To mark the anniversary, a private ceremony today on the beach near where he drowned. News 5's Debbie Williams joins us live. And Debbie, there have been many tributes to Smith over the past year, but this one was a little different. Yeah, a lot of those tributes, Pete, centered around monuments and memorials just like this one. But today, the one-year anniversary, family and friends went back to the beach, the same beach where Bill died. A return to the beach to a place Bill Smith and his wife Samantha loved, a fitting place for a final farewell. We all remember where we were on June the 6th in 2021, but I wanted us all to be where Bill was on that day. So in a private gathering, family and friends, deputies and co-workers gathered to mark the day they will all remember. It was six, after 6 p.m. in the evening, it was a Sunday, uh, I was at home and uh, they called me immediately uh, from the beach and said that uh, Bill had entered the water. And at that point in time, they did not know if Bill was actually had become one of the victims or not. It was still very chaotic. Bill and his partner, Sidney Wentworth, answered a 911 call. Half a dozen or more people caught in rip currents in the Gulf. All would be rescued except Bill. We thought it was fitting today on the one year anniversary to remember Bill's sacrifice. He died in a place he loved, a place that is beautifully dangerous at times, and a place where the name Bill Smith and Hero will forever be joined. Bill's death not only serves as a reminder of the danger, but I think it also serves as inspiration. And I asked Sheriff Mack, how would what would Bill think about all these remembrances, all these memorials? And he said, I can guarantee that he's smiling because he loved his job. He loved the people he worked with. And over the last year, I think you can see that that love has been mutual. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.